He earned it. This is it. This is the moment. If I had to choose one animal to hunt, it would be bow hunting big giant mule deer. Same here. In the beginning, we felt our success could only be measured in inches, and we'll never lose that drive to go big. But there's so much more to it now. It's about friendships. It's about putting a smile on someone's face and giving them their chance to be a hunter. That's something to be proud of. Being a hunter, the anticipation, the adrenaline, the journey, and the inevitable fact that you cannot control the outcome and the mystery that comes with that, there's nothing else like it. It's who we want to be. It's how we want to live our lives. And besides family, it's what we live for. He is unbelievable. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. How exciting was that? How exciting was that? Look at the ground times. Oh, he's so wicked. Hey, just stood up and looked the other way. The moment we've been waiting for for so long. Better do it. Stealth Cam proudly presents Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey. My friend Brian Stevens, a gentleman that has put himself in a position due to hard work and determination to experience hunts that the majority of us would consider once in a lifetime trips, if we're lucky. In this case, a doll sheep hunt in Alaska. It's hunts like this you value every second you have the chance to be out there. When your adventure starts off with five days of fog, locking you down to the confines of your tent with the anticipation you felt for a lifetime bottling up, when the weather finally does break, you're ready to take on the world. Well, after five days socked in, rain and fog, no way to really get out of the tent. We, uh, we finally got a break in the weather. We're packing up right now and we're about to make a big climb. Possibly be putting on a stock today. If not, we'll be pitching a spike camp a few miles from here and uh, it's getting exciting now. We just made our first big climb. Just over us is a bowl where you can see a long ways and this is where we expect to find the sheep. It's nasty country. We can actually smell the sheep where we are right now so we know they spend a lot of time in here. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Stealth Cam, Proven, Conquest Sense, the makers of Evercom, Limb Saver, products that work, 10 Point Crossbow Technologies, there is no substitute, Black Eagle Arrows, superior carbon technology, Gwincher and Vortex Optics, On day five, the very first day actually hunting, Brian and his guy Derek found a ram you wait a lifetime for. He was old, heavy, and still had both lamb tips that were reaching for the sky. The only catch, the spot this ram was in, he was untouchable. Brian and Derek exhausted every idea and approach, but hit a dead end on every angle. They decided their only play was to set up a spike camp and wait in the clouds for this cagey old ram to relocate, no matter how long it took. So we're up here, camped out on the crest of the mountain, and uh, all we've got for water is snow that we went and picked out of the bank over here, and we're using our jet boil to make some good old mountain house. Staple for sheep hunters. It's good stuff. We're enjoying it. Oh, my God. 
works. It's just completely white out now, but I think it'll burn off here in a little bit. Got these same four ramps down below us. Great big grand. They're going up to bed right now. They're roughly a thousand yards away. We're thinking about letting them drop back out of sight. We don't have an approach right now. They'll be able to see us anywhere we would get to get view. We got another ram up on the hill watching, so we're thinking about letting them bed, waiting them out, wait till they go back down to get another drink. And then we'll be able to close about probably 400 yards on them. So that's the plan. Hopefully it works. Brian and Derek's plan was a good one, but unfortunately, the sheep never came down, or at least they didn't come down until dark. Well, we got stuck out here last night. We uh, elected not to make the climb back out of this valley because the ram that we're after is over in this box canyon here. And we, uh, we felt like we needed to stay in position to catch him early. And uh, so we slept on the ground right here. And uh, we didn't actually sleep, but we passed the time on the ground here last night. Got rained on right at the beginning. It was a long, cold night in Alaska, but hopefully it'll be worth it today. Oh my gosh, he's, he's huge. Yeah, he, he looked like he hit him. Yeah, he, he, he went down, Brian. Good oh, job. oh, oh! Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Can you believe that? You hung in there. Can you believe that? Dead ram. Oh! 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 I can't believe that. You think it was worth it now? <laughs> Sitting out all night and freezing? Oh! I think it was worth it. I am not a product plugger normally, but let me tell you something. That scope and that rifle, Cooper rifle on a Vortex scope, that thing goes to 16 power and I could see the ram perfectly and it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. That was my furthest shot. We think it's 542 yards. It just did a miraculous job. That sheep is down, his face is up. It's all good. The best way to warm up is by killing a ram. <laughs> Not gold now. That is a monarch. That's better than you thought, huh? Oh my gosh. He's probably 11 years old or more. I'm just speechless. Speechless. Any sheep pine is about as tough as hunting gets. And um, I, I really personally think, especially stone sheep and doll sheep are extra tough just because of the areas that they live in, what you gotta do to get to them, and then what you've gotta do to get them out. But uh, this thing is absolutely enormous. He's massive, he's long, he's, this is a dream doll in anybody's book. I feel extra privileged just to be able to even be here. Uh, I'm, I'm actually speechless. You gotta have a lot of respect for an animal like that. It's, it's a big deal to me. To uh, you know, to take that animal. I know what it's like. I never, had a, I never had an easy sheep hunt. I get, I get emotional every time. Yeah.
that oh, was a workout. After his sheep, Alaska wasn't done with Brian, or maybe Brian wasn't done with Alaska. One month later, he returned to hunt moose and caribou with the same outfitter and his guide Derek to country that is as beautiful as anywhere you'll find in the world. day four of our hunt, we uh, made a move yesterday to a new camp because the bull that we were after just wasn't showing himself. So we're in a new spot. We're pretty fired up about. We already spotted three different bulls from this one spot. We're going after what we think is the dominant bull. He's got cows and uh, it's going to be a bit of a hike, but we're fired up. Today's game time. That's a great bull. Good <laughs> job, man. What do you think, huh? That's a freaking great bull. I don't care, bow or rifle. Yes, look at the size of this thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> great bull. <laughs> he earned it. Oh my gosh. Had a shot with my diamond bow at 50 yards even, and it was quartered away, and uh, he really didn't go very far. This bull's got enormous, ridiculous fronts and just oh, points everywhere. Old bull, a little dropper on his main beam. One thing that really fires me up on moose is big fronts, and he's got them. Really mature bull, and in the end, that's what gets me most fired up is hunting mature animals. <laughs> Unbelievable. For Brian, he was fortunate enough to experience two trips in one year to the last frontier. And within those trips, he was ever so lucky to connect with two absolutely amazing animals. But the crazy part, he wasn't done yet. On the last day, Brian killed a Boone and Crockett mountain caribou. We I'm glad it. to be here. We did it. <laughs> a moose, a caribou on this trip and earlier this season, a 43 inch giant doll sheep all with Derek here. We've gotten to experience some amazing- I feel privileged. Amazing animals together. What a season. Just wanted to give you one more view of this, uh, to me what makes a caribou such a beautiful animal during the late season when they're rutting is this unbelievable swollen neck, snow white cape with the big dewlap below. What a bull. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Stealth Cam, proven.
Diamond Archery, cutting edge innovations. Rage, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Walker's Game Ear, protect it or lose it. Cooper Firearms of Montana and Heater Bodysuit. Mossy Oak and Nomad. As if Mr. Stevens's good fortunes in Alaska weren't enough, Brian's luck carried on to the plains of eastern Colorado hunting archery mule deer. Any sportsman or woman in their right mind would be incredibly jealous of his accomplishments in the North Country, including myself. But being a passionate mule deer hunter, this special hunt really hit home for me. On day three, Brian and his guide Ty McFarlane found an ancient old buck with a harem of does. This is it. This is the moment. As hunters that we're always waiting for. Going in. Made a plan. Got a buck that's just right in his face off right now. Open country bow hunting. It really doesn't get any better, but it is tough. We're gonna try to go slip in a range of this big rut and buck and see if we can possibly have to use the decoy to, to get him to be aggressive towards us, get in range, and give us an opportunity. It's, this is as good as it gets. I have so much respect for any animal that I hunt, but there's something about these prairie monsters. They live in this open country. Thank you, Lord. I am beyond grateful, and I could not mean that more sincerely. If I had to choose one animal to hunt, it would be bow hunting big giant mule deer. Same here. Super mature, really heavy. He's wide. I think this deer is easily eight and a half years old, possibly more, which is kind of a testament to his character and the grit that he has to make it in this country that long. Between the sand grinding down their teeth and the hunting pressure and the severe winter conditions. I couldn't think of a more beautiful buck and I couldn't think of a better group of people to be hunting with. I've got Ty McFarlane, I just, I, it's way more than just going to book a hunt with somebody. I feel like I'm hunting with a best friend and and somebody who's super passionate about this and respects the animals the way that I do. And, and then I've got Rick Carone, who's uh, another one of my best friends that's battling pancreatic cancer in year four, an inspiration to me. And he's out here chasing these deer on the prairie with cancer. And, and uh, you just can't say enough about that man and, and uh, his battle and the way he's fought it. Character on the... <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Yeah, Can you buddy. believe it? Yeah, Thanks, man. Yeah. This is what deer hunting is all about, getting to be with your buddies at the scene. The middle yeah. of the night in eastern Colorado, it doesn't get any better than this. As it turns out, it could get better. The next morning, Mr. Carone anchored a buck they called Captain Hook. One of the most unbelievable hunting experiences I've ever had, bro. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, look at that. It's just like a 90 and a 90. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, brother. I love you. 
a 24-hour chain of events that no two hunting partners would ever forget. Unfortunately, this turned out to be Rick's final hunt. After a four-year battle with cancer, he was finally laid to rest. This gentleman was an amazing father, a great friend. His never give up attitude is and always will be an inspiration to all of us. Although Rick isn't with us anymore, his legacy lives on. To join the battle against cancer, go to teamcoronefoundation.org. Rest easy, my friend. To follow the Live to Hunt team, join us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. To order Live to Hunt DVDs and apparel, go to livetohunt.com. Next week's previews brought to you by Squincher, hydration that works. Next week is the show we call the highs and lows. This is our chance to share with you the memories we cherish the most from our past hunting season, as well as the situations you've never seen that some of us wish were deleted. This compilation makes for the most fun episode of the year. It's your chance to cheer with us, laugh with us, and laugh at us in our most vulnerable moments. If you're a Live to Hunt fan, you absolutely cannot miss this show. See you next week.